I turn to you for your five minutes. Thank you to the committee and the opportunity to appear before you today to speak to Bill C-22. I'm joining you today from the traditional and unceded territory of the Wallistiquay and Passamaquoddy people. I'm very happy to be part of this critical discussion and the advancement of this foundational legislation to create Canada's first ever national disability benefit. The organization that I represent, Inclusion Canada, was formed over 60 years ago. We're a national federation of 13 provincial territorial member associations, over 300 local associations, and more than 40,000 members across the country supporting people with an intellectual disability and their families. Financial security for individuals with intellectual disabilities and their families has been a priority issue for our organization for many years. The creation of a Canada disability benefit has been a long time coming. We must give Bill C-22 our full attention and move quickly to pass this framework legislation so that we can get to the regulations and get this benefit into the hands of people with disabilities. They simply cannot wait any longer. Bill C-22 is a historic opportunity to address the income security of people with disabilities in Canada, and it is important to get it right. Past governments have prioritized the reduction of poverty for seniors and children with the old age security and the Canada Child Benefit. It is high time that our government prioritizes the reduction of poverty for working age people with disabilities with the Canada Disability Benefit. Canadians with disabilities and their families face staggering rates of poverty that are inexcusable in a country like Canada. In Canada, 22% of people have a disability, with more than 40% living in poverty. But when we pull back the layers on this data and look specifically at people with intellectual disabilities, the rates are far worse. 73% of working age adults with an intellectual disability living on their own are living in poverty compared to 23% of those in the same age cohorts among the general population. This is really unacceptable. Bill C-22 sends a clear message to people with disabilities that this country will no longer allow them to struggle to live a life with dignity. How we treat people with disabilities in our society reflects our values as a nation, and we have a real opportunity to do better. We support Bill C-22 as framework legislation and we urge senators to prioritize it and pass it into law as soon as possible with the commitment that the disability community will be at the table in the drafting of the regulations. We know that some have suggested that Bill C-22 should contain more details regarding the design of the benefit that it should be amended to clarify the technical elements. Although I understand the motivations behind this, we believe firmly that the House of Commons has already passed several amendments that have strengthened the bill. For example, the amendment passed by the lower house that commits the government to working directly with the disability community on the development of regulations and requires them to report back to parliament within six months on how this was done. We will hold the government to this commitment. I want the senators of this committee and indeed all senators in the Senate to know how mu very much we respect the role of the Senate in the parliamentary system and its function to ensure that legislation passed by the lower house is sound public policy. We understand the Senate's role in providing due diligence to every bill which it is sent from the House of Commons. It is true that the Senate in its wisdom often does make legislation stronger. But our position, as well as hundreds of other disability organizations, is that C-22 is a solid foundational framework piece of legislation. And our cons foundational piece of legislation and the amendments passed by the other house do make the bill stronger. Our concern is that any substantive amendments proposed by the Senate at this juncture will delay the passing of the bill and people with disabilities can't wait any longer. Our view is that we have an opportunity before us now to get framework legislation enacted into law. Yes, there are lots of details to work out, but we feel in the spirit of nothing without us, it is the disability community who should be at the table with government working through these in the regulatory process. Senators, in closing, you have an opportunity at this moment to make a historic impact on the lives of people with disabilities in this country. Please do everything in your power to ensure this bill passes quickly and can, we can get on to the design work to get this benefit in the hands of those who desperately need it. No one in Canada should have to live a life in poverty, especially as a result of having a disability.
let's get this done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Carmes.